guys, Diecast Empress here, back for another quick cars review. Now today I am going to be having a look at another McQueen with you guys here today, being that it is a Monday. So today we're going to be having a look at the Radiator Springs 500 and a half McQueen. Now I'm doing this McQueen today because we have recently got the announcement of the sort of cryptid mcqueen as you can see here and so cryptid mcqueen is coming out in the next few cases um of the cars uh, die car singles cases that we're going to be getting we will be getting a cryptid mcqueen so i wanted to have a look at the radiator springs 500 and a half mcqueen because it's the closest mcqueen we've got to this style mcqueen and as you can see he has the roof lights and sort of the spare tires that we see in the cryptid mcqueen which is why i wanted to give him a quick look at today now also interestingly enough We've got the Cars on the Road McQueen, as we're all uh, familiar with here, with sort of the gradient lightning bolt and this lovely Cars on the Road symbol. But it's not the first time that we've seen this symbol. We do also get a very similar look of it on the back here of Radiator Springs 500 and a half. As you can see, it just says Radiator Springs and then the town's uh, founding date, which is, oh my God, it's tiny. I believe 1936 but it's tiny I can't really tell and as you can tell it's very very similar to the Radiator Springs logo. Now we do also see this on another car so bear with me just while I find it. Sorry took me longer to find it than find it than I expected but as you can see on the Lerner McQueen which is the same body as the Radiator Springs 500 and a half that is the car's uh, World Grand Prix Body McQueen. As you can see, he has it here. And I was close. It's 1930 is the date of founding of Radiator Springs. So I just wanted to point that out that you do get the very similar logos as the two of them here. Now, as I mentioned, this is a review of this gorgeous car. Now, this guy did come in a sort of a set, as you can see, of different um cars from the radiator springs 500 and a half and the amazing thing about them is they all had active suspension which is just basically a bar on sort of a, uh, a slot here and as you can see it does mean that he is extremely poseable so you can have him sort of over on bumps and still poseable if that makes any sense just trying to get him up on a cone here to show you there you go i'm just going to move the camera as you can see here, this McQueen is extremely poseable. All four of his tyres are on the floor, except when one is way up on the back. So it is an amazing sort of setup that they have here with these cars. And I love them. I absolutely love them. And I wish I had a better way of displaying him instead of just sort of flat, because he does have such wicked suspension. As you can see, it is really, really clever. And I love it. So something a little different and all of them have it so the mater here he has it as well he's just a bit bigger and what is mcqueen without his buddy mater they're best friends obviously so they have to come as a set but that's not the mater we got for, or saw in the short the mater we saw in that short is this mater here um, mater as stanley but that is besides the point the review we're talking about here is of this beautiful mcqueen now as i said this is the mcqueen from Cars 2. So as you can see here, he is very, very reminiscent of the Cars 2 design. He's got a bit more of a determined face on him um, and he is a little bit more exaggerated in the shape of his body, sort of it sticks in a little further on the side here. But they are essentially exactly the same, except from missing all of the all in all stuff. Um, and it's got just the Lightning McQueen signature on the back, as well as the Piston Cup logo, which I think is beautiful. Um, and yeah, he is a little bit more exaggerated in terms of body shape, but they are pretty much identical, but are clearly meant to be the same car. I do love the Cars 2 design. I think it makes him look a bit more of a street racer, which is obviously the goal. But yeah, they can't get wrong, go wrong with this design of McQueen here. Absolutely beautiful. And like I said, the fact that you can sort of pose him and make him do a few different things really makes him a top class McQueen in my book. But as always, guys, I have waffled on far too much. So I will leave you all with that one and I will catch you all in the next one. Thanks, guys.